Okay, so this was a requested video for me to make, and that is how to set up a fish tank. If you don't know, I have 14 of them inside my house up and running, and then some more outside. Now, this is actually going to be a breeding tank. I'm actually going to be breeding a fish in here that I've bred before, and that is convict cichlids like that right there. They're very easy fish to breed. They're also very good at parenting fish, meaning they take care of their babies really well. Like I said, they're very easy fish to breed. So if you're looking into breeding fish and really want to, uh, these are a very good, cheap, and inexpensive, and easy fish to breed. If you don't know, I had two baby Fanta goldfish in this tank right here. Me, personally, I think goldfish look better in ponds i'm not a big fan of them in tanks so i moved them out to my goldfish pond but yeah i basically drained all the water cleaned everything out here basically like rescaped the tank and everything and i'm gonna be showing you what you exactly need to set up a tank and uh honestly if you're just if it's you're gonna be getting your first tank i would say a five or a ten gallon is probably the best i think a ten gallon is probably the most popular because it's not like really small but it's also not like really big this is the fish picture for this video be the first one to comment down below the correct name of that fish if your comment is pinned, you'll get a shout out in the next video. Real quick, here are the new albino long fin cherry barbs that I got for the crayfish tank. They've been doing great in here. So yeah, I'm basically just going to be showing you exactly what you need uh, to set up a fish tank. And also a few things to, uh, if you want to breed fish as well. So obviously the first thing you want to figure out is the size of the tank that you want. Like I just said, a 10 gallon is basically one of the most popular, if not the most popular tank out there. Then the next thing of course is the gravel and the decorations. You want to pick out the stuff uh, that you are going to want to your tank, obviously. Now don't get too much stuff in there don't you don't want to overcrowd it. you want enough room for the fish to be able to swim now you notice I added a clay pot in here that is a very very good thing for fish to lay their eggs on they love love clay pots if you're gonna be breeding fish you're always gonna want to have something in the tank with like a hard surface because the fish love to lay their eggs on that and they can also go up under there but yeah basically once you have your tank your gravel and all your decorations picked out then you have to go to the really essential stuff obviously the first thing is a filter a small tank like this just a simple hang on the back filter five to ten gallon or five to fifteen gallon filter is perfect and then of course you need a heater and like I said just a tank size like this a simple submersible heater like that is totally fine if you're gonna be breeding fish you're gonna definitely have to have a heater in there unless it's some type of like cold water species of fish next thing is not really mandatory but it is a very good thing to have and that is an air stone you want there to be a good amount of oxygen in the tank and especially if you're gonna be breeding fish also for the babies one thing that is not mandatory but it is a very good thing to have I think it's live plants these plants in here are live they're totally fine right now with no water being in there I'm not sure what type these are but these are a type of plant that actually grows up out of the water it was growing up out of the water before I I drained it but in order for live plants to do really good you have to have a very good light and uh you know you don't you don't have to have a very very good expensive and high dollar light but a simple led light like this is really all that you need now whether you add plant fertilizer and all that stuff in there to help them grow faster and do really good that's all up to you i don't do it i just like to have a few live plants in a tank where i'm going to be breeding fish because the babies and also the parents love to have them in there and this actually does not have a lid on it uh i'm not sure what happened to the lid but um uh, it's not mandatory to have a lid unless you have some type of like fish that loves to jump. So now you got to get to the actual setting up part of the tank. <laughs> Once you have your tank all filled up, you want to go ahead and dechlorinate it. This is a very common brand. It does not really matter what brand you use as long as you dechlorinate the water. If you don't know your regular like sink water, your tap water, that has heavy metals and stuff in there and also chlorine, and uh, that will kill the fish. And this stuff right here makes it to where it's fish safe. Just go ahead and start plugging your stuff up. Boom and boom. And when you turn your filter on, you're going to want to pop that lid open. Just take some of your tank water and pour it right in the back of the filter. Fill it all the way up and that will get the filter going and flowing. Boom, just like that. Now you got your filter running, your bubbles flowing, the heater on. Just go ahead and wipe down your tank and turn on your light. Boom, just like that. And that right there is how you set up a fish tank. And once you have your water in there, you're gonna wanna let it cycle for at least a week for a tank like this. You can buy beneficial bacteria. I don't really agree with that. I would just go ahead and let the tank establish its own good bacteria. But yeah, just for a small 10 gallon like this, as long as you let it cycle for a good week or so, uh, then it is good for fish. Now once you go out and get fish, don't go out and get a whole bunch of fish. Don't get all the fish that you're gonna wanna get for the tank. You know, just get, you know, maybe two or three at a time because you don't wanna overwhelm the new ecosystem with a whole bunch of life. Now if you've never seen any of my fish for this is one of my fish right here my jack dempsey cichlid inside the cave is a bitcher my 55 gallon tank right here with just two pacus in it which are going to be moving out of here pretty soon and the jack dempsey and the bitcher are going to be going into here and one of my favorites my 30 gallon tetra tank there's a variety of tetras and barbs in here but there's also two baby electric blue jack dempsey's there's one of them right there and there's the other little guy right there so that is pretty much it how to set up a fish tank like i said i'll be getting a pair of comic cichlids next weekend for that tank i don't know what it's at right now but go ahead and get last video 
video to 25 likes and uh, we're gonna go back to that abandoned trailer and do some more uh, exploring there. We found something pretty crazy there. If you, had, if you haven't already watched, you can go back and watch it. I'll put it right at the end of this video. Be sure to follow my Instagram, fishing underscore PF. But anyways, guys, with that being said, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.